Hi, I'm Sheila. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite foundations that I like to use, especially when the season is changing as far as spring and summer. Um, I have a few of them and um, so I would like to share them with you all, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you already know of these products or if not, I already have these products. But these are some of my favorite and then one is actually kind of new product but I know that it will be a good foundation for the summer or spring as it is so yeah the first one i'm going to talk about is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless okay this one is a good one i like this one even though it's poreless and i you know talked about how i feel about poreless products as far as um minimizing pores but it is a good foundation i highly recommend this one especially if you're if you have oily skin but i have dry skin and i can still use this foundation um like i said it's the maybelline fit me matte and poreless uh foundation it stays on uh whenever i use it my foundation stays on and i feel like it's going to be even great for the summertime. So, yeah, you want a foundation that will stay on. And the thing that I like about it is that you don't, it's not so heavy. To me, it's not as, you don't feel it on the skin as much as you do with the original Fit Me uh, foundation, okay? And that's what I love the most about this foundation is that you don't feel it much. So in the summertime when it's really hot and heated, um, this foundation will come in handy because it's light on the face. And of course, you know, when it's hot outside, it's easy to sweat your makeup off or whatnot. Your makeup comes off. But this one is it's very matte, but not super matte. And uh, I feel like it will last longer than some foundations for the summer. So, yeah, this one is a good one. If you haven't tried this one out, try it out. I love it, okay? It's one of my favorite foundations. The next one is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. The next one is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. Fresh Complexion Oil-Free Foundation. Okay, it's an oil-free foundation. So, therefore, in the summertime, this is a great one. I bought this one back. I think this one came out last summer. If I'm not, or right after summer. Somewhere like that. I can't remember. But I remember it still being warm uh, here in my area. And I noticed that when I apply this, this is just like a, to me, similar to a BB cream, okay? It's very similar. It's light, but it gives more coverage than a BB cream. So if you want something that's going to stay on your face and it has a light, I mean a full coverage, a medium to full coverage, but to, for me, it's a full coverage foundation. If you're looking for a foundation like that that will stay on that's oil free and especially like I said for the summer and spring. These are all foundations that I recommend for the summer and spring time or spring and summer. Um, this one is a good one. This one stays on the face and it, pre it pretty much stay put. Okay. So yeah, I love this foundation. Okay. That is another great one for when it gets warmer outside. The next one happens to be another CoverGirl, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I know we've all heard of this one. All right, mine is about time for me to get another bottle, okay? I've had this one since the summer, and yes, it is great for the hot weather is terrific it'll stay on it gives great coverage to me full coverage 
And yes, it says on the back, lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one and it's shine free. That is so true. You do not have to use concealer or anything like that unless you just have severe discoloration or, um, you know, whatever. But this is a great uh, foundation. I highly recommend this one. This one you can use all you all these you can use all year round. But I'm just saying these to me, the ones that I'm picking out right now, they really really work really really well with uh, if it, when it's hot outside and you don't want your makeup to melt off or look as bad these foundations really work so this one is a good one the cover girl outlet stay fabulous three in one foundation now i can feel this on my skin it's one of those foundations i can kind of feel on my skin but it's not too bad it's still kind of light um i think when i add powder to it i'm used to wearing foundations with powder i never wear like foundations alone so i need to try it with just using it on its own but um yeah this one is a good one it still doesn't feel as heavy and it will be great for the summertime okay and it stays put okay it's a great one okay all right, the next one I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Blur Foundation. Now, I did pick up this one. I remember getting this product back when it was warm out. I did use it. Uh, this is like a mousse type of uh, foundation. Um, it's, it's very moussey, but it gives great coverage, but a light feeling on the skin. It's just amazing how it feels on the skin and how it really blurs out the imperfections so yeah if you um if you're like me and uh you might be out and you get like say a few insect bites like mosquito bites or a few things because it does happen on the face at times this one would be a great product for covering up um things you know on the face imperfections but it's also light it's a mousse type of foundation it'd be light on the skin so whatever you're covering up you'll have great coverage but yeah a light foundation on the face so yeah this is a good one too you guys the l'oreal visible lift blur foundation love it okay the next one i want to talk about is is the CoverGirl and Olay Facelift Effect Firming Makeup. Yes, I got this back in the summertime as well. I love this one, but they don't have a great range of colors. Now, this is the darkest one. It's in the shade Medium. And you guys, it's still white. I do have to mix this with a darker foundation. Um or concealer to make it work but you guys this is really good for all of my dry skin ladies out there if you're dry skin just like I have dry skin um, this one will keep your face moisturized but as well as giving you a nice feeling on the face and it does uh, make your face appear to be very um, it just helps with your complexion. That's what I would say. It helps your complexion and also give you some coverage, but it's not really heavy on the skin, okay? So, yeah, this is a good one for the summer as well. I used it last summer, and, yes, it gave me coverage, and it wasn't heavy on the skin, and, yes, it made my complexion look really, really nice. Um, however, the shade ranges are not good. There's not many at all. I think there's only two shade ranges, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but this is the darkest one that, the darkest is in medium. They don't go no dark, and that's the only thing that I don't like about this product, because this is too light for my skin, and like I said, I have to use a darker concealer to make it work, but yeah, you guys, this is a good one. The next one happens to be the ELF BB Cream or any kind of BB Cream. I got the Beauty Treats BB Beauty Balm Cream as well. A BB or a CC Cream, you know, it's always going to be a good um, 
product for the summer. BB cream seemed to be a light type of formula for the skin. Um, and it helps with sunburn. A lot of them does. And so, yeah. Um, you can get some coverage depending on what BB cream you choose to use or which BB cream that <laughs> you choose to pick to give you great coverage. Some BB creams and CC creams for me doesn't give me great coverage and I have a problem with breaking out. Like my skin breaks out with BB and CC creams. Now these are the two BB creams that I have been able to find that does not break me out and it is the ELF BB cream. Um, it's only $6. I got this one and then I got this one first. I came across this one first and it is the Beauty Treats BB Beauty Balm Cream. I do love this one. Neither one of these break my skin out so I can use these two BB creams. So if you haven't tried a BB or a CC cream, I'm trying to find the right CC cream now. But so far these two BB creams work for me. They're very light on the skin but give you just enough coverage. But to me they more give you like, they give you more like a natural look you know a natural coverage and i like that especially in the summertime it's really beautiful in the summertime to have a natural makeup um or a foundation a natural foundation for the summer it's really great so try to find your bb cream or cc cream if you don't already have one okay the next two is actually Revlon products. This is the Revlon Color Stay. Now I like to use this. You can use this all year round but in the summertime I do like to use this especially if I'm going out and it's really hot. It is Color Stay meaning it stays put. So I will highly recommend this one. This is a great coverage foundation for it to be a drugstore foundation. It says it's supposed to last for 24 hours. It lasts a long time, that's for sure. I use it a lot. And, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites for the summer as well. But I use it, normally I use it all year round. But it's a great one for the summer. So if you haven't tried the Revlon Color Stay, you should try it. I love it, okay? And this one is for normal to dry skin because I do have dry skin all right they have different ones they have some for oily skin dry skin combination skin you name it all right the next one is a revlon product too it's the revlon photo ready makeup yes i do like this one a lot of people say they don't like this one but i do i love this it's great for photos if you're taking pictures it's also great for just having a light but a full medium to full coverage type of foundation this is the original now this is not the airbrush one this one is i think it's called airbrush it's a newer one but i can't remember everybody says it has some kind of glitter in it that this is not it this is the original revlon uh photo ready uh foundation love this you guys in the summertime i just love it taking pictures usually I take more pictures in the summertime than I do any other time of the year. Um, it's good for that and also it's just a light coverage but it gives a medium to full coverage finish. So, uh, and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin in my opinion. So yeah, this is a good one. So it's the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Makeup, okay? So yeah, you guys, that is all the foundations that I recommend for the spring and summer, especially the summertime. You can use these products all year round. I did, but I know that they work really, really good for when it's hot outside and you got to go out and do things and everything. But don't forget to use your SPL um, lotion or creams and all that if these products do not have that already. Because I think, I know this BB cream has SPF 20 sunscreen in it. And I'm sure some of the other ones might have some SPF in it 
as well i did look at that but yeah outside of that you guys those are great foundations if you're gonna wear foundations in the summertime but like i said i always use spf uh protection as far as lotion or some kind of spray or something over the face because it's so easy to get your skin really badly sunburned and then you have to deal with discoloration afterwards you know it could turned out to be bad because it happened to me um i went out in the sun and i was out at the pool stayed there had makeup on didn't think about putting spf any kind of spf product on my face when i came in my skin was toasted okay it was toasted and before then i didn't have no discoloration problem I didn't have no discoloration problems, but you guys, after that, I've been dealing with discoloration, like dark pigmentation underneath the eyes on my cheeks, uh, just certain areas on my face. So yeah, I highly recommend using a great SPF product, even though you're using foundations and things like that. So it's al always good to have you a product that is good for blocking the sun rays or whatnot you know what i you know what i mean so yes uh so remember that also always use sun protection products as well all right you guys i'm gonna let you go so i hope this video was educational for someone or maybe i could have helped someone about some of the great products that and these are all drugstore products so yeah I hope uh, this was a, um, like I said, a educational or somewhat helpful video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you all go. So you are beautiful. Stay beautiful. And I will try to have one more video up for this week. All right. Okay, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>